Today we have the chance to go top of the championship when we take on Watford away. But first, we've got Huddersfield at home to play. Welcome back everyone to the My Player Career Mode. I hope I find you very, very well. Um, along with those two games, we also have QPR as well away from home. As I'm recording this, uh, hopefully you're seeing this on the Thursday. It might be a little bit delayed. Um, more than the usual 6 p.m. time. Um, I'm recording this a little later than I would have hoped. So, fingers crossed, I'm still able to get it out on time for you. As you lot did smash the like target I set you. So, thank you so much for that as well. So, without further ado, it's probably time to get ourselves already into the matches. Here's how the table looks. Two points is the gap. Of course, we need to try and get a result against Huddersfield to make sure we go into that Watford game with that chance at the top of the table. The last thing we want is for us to lose to Huddersfield and end up having to play the Watford game as a chance of kind of clawing back some points, if you will. We want that to be either two points or us already on top of the table. We've got some training to do, so we are going to go ahead and do that very, very quickly here. And um, yeah, we'll see what the first game against Huddersfield brings. I did say that I'm probably going to have to play 60 minutes and maybe get a substitution. We'll see what our fitness is looking like during the match, and then we'll go from there. So, I'll see you for the Huddersfield game. So, here are the two teams heading into this game then. You can see ours. We are 81 rated, the highest rated player in this Norwich starting 11 that is stacked with real quality. On Huddersfield's side, um, they've got a few players I do know of. Uh, Congolo, Tommy Elphick, uh, Pritchard as well, but... I think, looking at the two teams, they're 15th at the moment in the championship. We shouldn't have too much of a problem here at Carroll Road. And this sets us up very nicely for the main game of today, of course. Goal update elsewhere as Watford have just gone in front in their game as we drive forward on the weaker right foot. Shot comes in, but Schofield makes the save. Yeah, Watford ahead, so we need a goal here as well. Ball over the top from Huddersfield. And this is a chance for Ward. Tim Krull, crucially, keeps it out. As things stand, Watford are going four points clear at the top of the championship. So it won't even matter what result we get against them. It'll just be, if we win that game, us trying to claw the points gaps. We really need a win here against Huddersfield. And at the moment, we're not the uh, team on top. Steeperman with the ball forward towards Martinez. 18 minutes to play and this is the first time in recent games that we've really been tested. Buendia's in! And just what the best teams do is when they've had a bit of an off day, they find a goal that may well win them the game. Buendia, thank you. And you look at this one. And Norwich have not been them usual selves today. Huddersfield, however... They've sort of been the team with possession, but we've kind of just had to dig deep and just try and hit them on the counter. We know we've got the quality that should we get a chance, most likely it goes in the back of the net, but it's not the way you want to see us playing, especially when we're about to play against Watford, the league leaders. We wanted to see us come out here and just dominate this game and really send a message. However, if Watford are looking on, I'm not sure they'll be looking on thinking that they'll have much of... Uh, a big ask of trying to stop us because we haven't been our usual selves here. But it doesn't matter as long as we get the win. I mean, you can see there, 60% of possession for Huddersfield. Three shots to our two and 40% that we've had in the way of possession ourselves. Yeah, a bit of a strange start to today's episode. Nearly jinxed it as well by saying we had a shot at going top of the championship. Because this game is yet to be done. And we've had no other goal updates either from Watford. So I can only assume that that is them still leading in their match. West Brom are ahead. Stoke ahead there as you've just seen. A poor pass from Huddersfield gives us back possession. We're trying to find it now as we switch it out to this right-hand side. Lovely ball. Now Buendia takes it down well. Can he find a cross? He's pulling it back to the edge of the penalty area. Now for Leitner who's quickly dispossessed and Huddersfield will look to uh, counter themselves. That is a fantastic pass. And this highlight has been non-stop. I feel like I've been rambling the last five minutes. Zimmerman has come through though. It will be a Huddersfield corner. And there we have it then. The full-time result from Carrow Road was a 1-0 victory. And to let you know, Watford 3, Birmingham 0 was their scoreline. So, yep, I'd say their favourites heading into that one, which is coming up for you 
right now. It'll be a few seconds for you, of course a few minutes for me, let's do it. Anything other than a Norwich win will see Watford stay top. And here is their starting 11. Ben Foster in goal, Semmer, Cavasele, Troost Ekong, Wilmot and Femina as the back five. Xhaka, Cleverly, Capu in a midfield three and Suarez Puseto up top. I mean, they've got a great midfield. Etienne Capu, Tom Cleverly. And is that... I don't think that's Granite Xhaka. I know he has a brother. It might be the brother. I can't remember what his name is, though. Uh, but if it is Granite Xhaka, then that is a tremendous midfield that Watford have got. The two best teams in the championship going head-to-head -head at Vicarage Road. Will we see a winner? That's the question. There, of course, could be a, it could be a draw here today, which we'll see it stay as it is. You best believe we're going to go for it, though. I don't, I don't want us to just come here and draw the game. I want to go for the win. So we'll try to do everything we can. If we win it, we're top. Simple as that. We are on the way for this one. We are wearing blue today as Martinez has got a chance. And Martinez has already decided he wants to take matters into his own hands. What a dream start for Norwich City. Keep calm, though. Keep calm. Because Watford are going to be a different test, different quality. Yeah, we're wearing the blue. They're in the yellow and black. So, um, yeah, it's quite a cool kit, the blue one we've got. And just to let you know as well, it is actually, they do have Granite Xhaka in midfield. So the former Arsenal man, 81 rated, playing in the championship. So they've also got an 81 rated player themselves. We, of course, Norwich's uh, 81 rated player, Buendia, also two up to 80. So there's not a lot separating these two sides. And I think that'll make for a great game. I want to say it's going to be quite close, but I equally want it to be as entertaining as it can be for you guys. So I'm hoping for quite a lot of goals in our favour as uh, we're already looking to attack once again. I told you we'd go for this. Didn't want to sit back and just defend. And that's a great ball into our path. We can't quite get the cross back into the middle, but we should still have possession with Leitner. He's got it still and he tries to find a disguise pass through. Watford at the minute having to survive a little bit though, as every time they clear it, it's coming straight back at them. Leitner in possession. Again, he's lost it. That's the second time in a matter of minutes that he's given away possession, but Xhaka doing the same. And this is the counter-attack of Norwich that we've seen so often. Have we got the pace here to get past of Wilmot? Yes, we do. And now we need somebody in the box selflessly across to Martinez for him to double our advantage. And it's that bit of selfless play that helps you win league titles. How many times would I have shot in those areas? Usually, would I have not taken the easy goal and got a little bit ahead of myself and gone to try and score myself. I mean, admittedly, I should score in this position. You know, when you're that close to goal, you should be able to finish it. But why even try and take it on when you have the availability to lay it across to an unmarked teammate and guarantee you a second goal in a game that is of the utmost importance? The problem is they're met with... This Norwich team who are so good when you give them space and time to work with. Steeperman, speaking of someone who's been good, we've got ourselves a free kick right on the edge of their penalty area. If Wendia scores this, game set and match, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going top of the championship table. And I fancy Buendia from this position to at least hit the target. Let's see. There you go. I knew. I knew that he'd hit the target. What for nil? Norwich City 3. The way we started today against Huddersfield, I, I won't lie, I was slightly worried. I was thinking we might be in a bit of trouble against Watford if this is how we turn up. But we have turned up meaning business here at Vicarage Road. What a free kick from Buendia. I'll give you another look at it here as well from this angle. Over the wall, down into the top corner. No chance for Ben Foster. Here is Tribal carrying forward, and that's a great ball into the path of Puki, who strikes it against the woodwork, and it will be a corner ball, but it should have been 4-0 Norwich. Oh, man, what a chance. Well, forget about sending a message during the Huddersfield game, because we've just sent a giant one from Vicarage Road in the form of beating the league leaders by three goals to nil. I had a feeling 
we'd see goals. I didn't think it'd be this one-sided, however. Buendia's free kick. What a goal that is. You know what? Just for the sake of the video, I want to have another look at it because it was an unbelievably well hit free kick. Like the quality in this Norwich side, they deserve to be back in the Premier League, at least fighting for something in the Premier League, whether that be a relegation fight again next season or whatever. Look at those match facts. We played against the league leaders and we kept them to one single shot. That's brilliant. All right, Buendia's free kick. Arguably the goal of the episode so far. It's great technique, great power. Everything about it is just phenomenal. And that made it 3-0 in the game. A game that we never really looked in doubt at this point of half-time to go in 3-0. That's the stuff that we could only dream about. And that's exactly what happened. And my friends, that means we sit top of the championship for the first time, I believe, this season. We might have had it very early on, but I don't think we've had it at all until now. I might be wrong, as I said. Correct me if I am. But there you go. A single point above Watford. Let's see how, how long we can hold on to this, though, because that's the big thing. We're now the team that everybody is trying to beat. Everybody's trying to chase. And that makes you have a lot more pressure during games. You know, those games where it's nil-nil, the likes of the game Huddersfield earlier on, where you're not playing the best and you need a goal, that's when the pressure can get to you. 18 assists in 18 matches. What a season we're having. Arsenal, I hope you're looking on. I hope you're watching because you could use us right now, it feels like. But for now, we've still got a long way to go with Norwich. Okay, so QPR is our next match. It'll probably be... The final game of today and uh, actually I've got a load of training we could do because it looks like there's an international break so I'll see you for this QPR match. Our first match since going top of the championship then and we are away against QPR. How funny would it be if we end up losing this and then holding on to top spot for all of about five days? I mean I don't want to think that that will happen but there's every possibility you know you enter every game and you might lose Every time you play, but I have all the faith that this team that we have should be able to win this game against QPR. They're not having a bad season by any means. They're in ninth place as we go into this one, so we'll have to be at our best. It's been a bit of a tough first half for us here as Tim Krull is forced into a late save. QPR giving us absolutely nothing in the way of chances. And I think that might have been heading on to the post. It might have been going in. So Krull just making sure the scoreline remains 0-0. But a late corner then. We are over the time here of this first half. But the referee has to allow QPR the chance. Which now that we've been able to deal with the danger, that should be the end of the first half and is. I spoke about when we don't play well, about the pressure that might get to us. Well, this is the game I was referring to because... We've struggled to really get going here. And that's strange when you just beat the league leaders 3-0. But we'll see what the second half brings. I've got no idea what's happening with Watford at the moment. But all I know is that here and right now, we are under pressure from QPR. They are the team who look the more likely to find a goal if there is to be one in this game. 25 minutes to go. The corner sent into the middle. Tim Krul will get a touch on the cross in. And Buendia has possession. Can we find a counter-attacking opportunity? That's how we're probably going to find a goal if we are to find one today. It will have to be on the counter. Got Ayrton over on this left-hand side. There's the pass toward him. And now we've got Buendia as well for some support. This is a chance now for Norwich. If Buendia can send the ball through, he's blocked it. And here is Steeperman. Oh, my goodness me. How much luck do you want to find? My voice couldn't handle, <laughs> my voice couldn't handle me shouting there. What just happened? So Buendia goes to play the pass. Misplays it. Rot chases down the ball. They go to clear it, QPR. It ricochets off of Buendia straight to Steeperman. One touch and then the finish. I'm going to call it lucky. It wasn't a lucky finish by Steeperman, but just the way that we get in that position... Lucky. 12th of the season for Steeperman. We don't deserve that. I've got to say QPR. That's a bit harsh on them. Especially the way that that goal's in. That is very harsh on them. But 20 minutes to play. We needed a, a slice of luck and we got it. 
And ball here, I think, again, Zimmerman. I knew it. I knew it as soon as I saw the ball hit his arm. Ten minutes to play. QPR have a chance from the penalty spot. The ball's just bouncing around. It's a bit of panic back there. And as soon as I saw it hit him in the arm, I knew full well the referee was going to give the penalty. To be fair to QPR, it's probably the least they deserve if they score this. Come on, Tim Krull. Can you make the save? Can you be a hero once again? Penalty kick then to try and get them back in this match. And Dykes steps up. Bottom corner. Rifles it home. QPR 1. Norwich 1. We were top. I don't know at the moment. I've not seen anything from Watford. But, yeah. This has been the hardest game we've played, I think, so far this season. Into the last few seconds of this game. And it has to be now or never for Norwich. If there is to be a winning goal in this one. The referee's blown his whistle. No way. We're charging towards goal and he's blown his whistle. You've got to be joking. I can't feel hard done by by that result. Because QPR deserves something from the game. If not the win. But I can feel hard done by because the ref ends it as we're running through. Or trying to run through on goal. We weren't completely through. I still had a lot of work to do. But crucially, does that mean we are now back into second? I have a feeling it will mean that. 1-1. One, one. QPR. Well played. That's all I'll say. Very, very well played. A 7.9 match rating for us. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the match facts. Very, very close. And you could argue they were the better team. We advanced through. To see what happened elsewhere. Well, the games have yet to be played. It looks like we were an early kickoff, which means we'll get to know as soon as we get into this next bit of the screen here. And there you have it, my friends. We were top for all of about four days. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We're back into second. Watford retained top spot by a single point. I am gutted, but at the same time... As we go to 82 rated, we knew that this would be very close. You know, I knew full well that even when we beat them 3-0, that wasn't the end of it. That was never going to be the end of it. It'll be a title race, which most likely will come right down to the last game of the season, most likely, I feel like. But we'll see how it progresses. And Watford's first defeat of the season against us means that we are the only side now left in the championship with uh, no defeats to our name. Six points above Sheffield United. So that's that's been pulled back a little bit. We've got to be wary about Sheffield United climbing up the table just behind us. Just the one point in it at once again. Um, Bournemouth up into sixth. You'll see the mid-table teams. QPR, who we just faced. Reading, Leeds, Cardiff, Swansea. As I'm scrolling through, you can see who is where. And that is how the championship is looking. We'll end the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for all of your incredible support on the last couple of episodes as well. Um, that is the Premier League table. Arsenal down to seventh. If you are new around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Help me get one step closer to the magic number of 100,000. Until next time, stay safe. Have a great day. Have a great evening. And I'll catch you all again very, very soon. Adios.